you're going to meet a lot of new people. You're going to have a lot of uh, different jobs that um, you guys are going to have to do. So if you're just open and open to feedback and ask a lot of questions, I think you'll make the most out of your internship. All right. Thanks, Nathan. Mindy, what, what, what did you guys talk about? Oh, we talked about so many things, but I guess one thing I would share is that uh, one takeaway I had was that working in a senator's state office was not what I wanted to do. And that after you complete your internship, it's okay to know that that's not what you want to pursue in life. At least you did it and you tried it and you know now that it's not what you want to do. And at least you still have the experiences that you got from that, which you will definitely be able to apply to future internships or jobs or anything. Awesome, thank you, Mindy. Jason, what did you guys talk about? Yeah, I got a lot of good questions about just how to be, you know, the best intern that you can be. And I think one, one important thing that I wanted to reiterate was managing up this really crucial tool about how you essentially anticipate the needs of your supervisor or boss and you're able to implement them before he or she even asks you to do. Um, and it's just so important for an intern to do, obviously the work that you're asked to do well, but also to be able to anticipate what your boss needs. And those are the most memorable ones, I promise you. Um, so managing up, if there's anything that, you know, you should Google after this, and I'll actually send an, uh, an article um, right now in the chat box, but managing up is a really important skill. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you, uh, Jason. Uh, Liana, what was your, uh, what did your, your group talk about? Um, so I think a lot of things surrounding kind of like um, to do with like initiative, especially as things are virtual, right? How do you meet with people? How do you do really well on something? Or even like beyond an internship, like how do you gain like experiences or skills related to that? And I think that initiative piece of whether it's asking your manager or team or people to meet, especially in virtual, right? Like you don't get to physically see them or the initiative to do more on your project, like thinking creatively or back again to that point of like asking for things to do that you're interested in. Um, not just like always waiting for um, people to tell you what to do. Awesome, thank you so much. Adarsh, what did you guys talk about? Yeah, um, I, I must say that was the shortest 20 minutes of my life. Um, that went by in a snap, I swear. I, I really wish I could let you know, answer so many more questions. Um, but the uh, one big uh, question that uh, I was asked, and I think it's very important for me to address it, was uh, for high schoolers, how do you go about finding internships? Um, and what, my, uh, what I told uh, my audience members was that um, teachers are a very good resource for high school students to actually find internships. Oftentimes, you know, we look at teachers and, you know, we cut them off, like, like that's, that's all they do, they just teach, however, that's really not the case. And a single conversation with your uh, teachers can go, can go a long way in you, you finding an interest and actually, you know, interning for that particular uh, organization, whatever that may be. And furthermore, not to limit yourself, just because a particular organization that you're really interested in doesn't offer internships. You can still dig that opportunity out. You can you know, make that phone call. You can sit down with someone from, from that organization and just have a conversation. Just you know, let them know that, hey, I'm interested in interning. Give me an hour you know, in the entire week for me to come in and just see how you guys operate, what you guys do. I think that goes a long way. So yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, it, it definitely never hurts to ask. Um, don't be don't be ever intimidated by a, an elected official or or the staff members to ask. Uh, perhaps you're interested in something. For me, it was uh, a huge issue in, in homelessness that I wanted to do studies on. So I just asked and got that project, uh, which which was great because I, I I actually had an opportunity to me with all the shelter food bank directors in town, visit their, their financial statements, uh, their grants and everything. So, so it, it opens so many doors for you. So thank you so much Adarsh for that. Um, Alicia, what did you guys talk about? Um, we talked a lot about a lot of things and I won't reiterate any of the other great points that um, panelists have made, but we um, did also discuss uh, what politics and government actually look like from within a lot. I think there are a lot of misconceptions about that. 
Um, having watched House of Cards prior to any of my internships, I was very worried that it would be this sort of diabolical Machiavellian environment, but actually it was very friendly. And you'll find that most of these people in these offices are just very well-intentioned bureaucrats and public servants. And so they're more than willing to help you. And most importantly, you get to sleep better at night knowing that all of these weird YouTube controversy or uh, conspiracy theories are, are really not, not true. <laughs> um, <laughs> you also learn a lot about just professional environments and politics from within. That's so awesome. Uh, so no conspiracy theories there. Awesome. Thank you guys so much, all the panelists. Um, I'm going to give you all 30 seconds real quick, uh, a final comment on what one last final advice you would give to the participants today. So uh, let's start from Alicia. My final comment, and I know I, I, I kicked the hell out of this dead horse. <clears throat> beat the hell out of this dead horse when I was um, in my private session. So apologies for reiterating again to you kind people. Uh, be assertive. Um, nobody is going to know what you're thinking and nobody is going to go out of their way to ask because they're there doing a job and it's a full-time job. So they're not, they don't have all the time to dedicate to interns. And they're more than happy to see someone who is assertive and proactive. So you're not going to be stepping on any toes by doing that. Great advice. Adarsh. Yeah, um, my last piece of advice would be don't hold back, don't be intimidated, and have lots of fun. You're there, make the most of your time. And, you know, when you look back at that experience, you want to look back and think about all the good times you have. And your experience is what you make out of it. So good luck, guys. Just make sure you have fun. Thank you so much, Adarsh. Liana. Yeah, I feel like so many good things were said. So one thing that might come to mind is just don't undermine anything you do. Like no task is like too trivial and no project is like too big. Um, like once I had to just print a bunch of lifeguard card IDs and that sounds really like middle school, but I got to meet a whole nother like office slash department because of that. Um, so take advantage of everything like you're tasked to do. Thank you, Anna. Jason. Attention to detail, attention to detail, attention to detail. I cannot reiterate enough. When you're writing emails, when you're writing reports, when you're you know, drafting documents, make sure that you have a good attention to detail, that you don't have typos, because the interns that you know, submitted, submit something to me and it's full of typos, the formatting is weird, you know, they clearly didn't put a lot of attention to it. Um, those are unfortunately the ones that I remember, um, not in a good way. So just as long as you have good attention to detail, you know, you're working hard, then you should be, you should be fine. Fantastic. Mindy. Uh, so I would actually encourage you to maybe keep like a journal on a weekly basis and just write about everything you did, you learned, challenges, anything, because it'll be really useful down the road when your internship experience is no longer fresh in your mind. And who knows, maybe it'll be you on this panel three years from now and it'll be a good refresher. Yeah, definitely a journal helps. Nathan. Yeah, for me, some final advice would be um, to enter an internship with a mindset that you're gonna learn. Um, especially, you know, I, as like a high school intern, I often see other interns that, are, that, that you know, obviously like, it look, like just by seeing them, you could tell that they're here because their parents are like, you know, you should do this internship, you know, uh, and that's not the mindset that you should have coming in. If, I feel like if you come into the internship and you're like, I'm going to take away as much experiences as possible, um, then you're going to get the most out of it. Thank you so much, Nathan. Thank you much, so much to all the panelists today for answering all of our students' concerns, questions, and giving your experience and sharing.